while uh, tuning my uh, software-defined radio. Uh, one thing is interesting because you can see in the waterfall everything that the radio receives basically. And I'm tuning the bands and you can see a difference and here I've actually been able to pinpoint some of the stuff that I see on my waterfall because on the top there you see that there are lines, vertical lines. Well, from what I see, the ver vertical lines are the type of noise that I actually pick up with the antenna basically. Uh, and not the computer's noise because when I plug back my ICOM ICR-D500 shut down the computers every every little line that you see there my 8500 has a little spike of noise in there as a little something it's part of my general noise so the vertical lines you see at regular intervals seems to be noise coming from pretty much my neighbors some kind of digital ash that is full of harmonics and that's why you see the lines but the two lines you see here this big one and this big one these are power supply noise and I can give you an example here I will remove my computer's power supply and look at those two big lines disappear from the display now I've got something else some here but it's maybe just something that's there but in the noise when it's plugged in so it's really interesting to watch because it gives you an idea of what's happening and how noisy your location is so um, from what I see there's a general noise that's pretty much all around and creates these little vertical lines but the ones from my computer is when I plug back are much much wider in kind of a wideband noise in that frequency range so here I just plugged it back and you can see my power supplies interference lines come back on the display so it's really interesting because it lets you analyze the type of noise and the uh, you know what's happening around you RF wise and that's pretty interesting and um, the more I listen the more I see that the problem isn't so much my laptop because when I really want to DX more with the soft 66 I unplug the power supply and it's, it's really relatively quiet actually and I really can listen to some really weak stuff that uh, is hard to listen to actually but of course I have to unplug the power supply so on some of my videos I will unplug the power supply and listen uh, even on some of my own listening I'll just leave the laptop on battery for half an hour an hour while I'm listening to the program and just plug it back when I want to listen to um, you know something else that the interference from the power supply doesn't really change anything so um, I'll do that usually so I just tune around a signal if I see the power supply from my computer doesn't interfere I unplug I, I stay plugged sorry and just leave it there but if I try something that is interfered with the power supply then what I'll do is unplug the power supply to make sure like here for example that signal is slightly in the power supply's noise So if I unplug the power supply, there could be something that helps. Now, I don't know what just happened, but I lost sound and I have these little lines, but uh, probably from the plug and unplug of the computer, something's going around with the, the software. So I'll just stop and try to start it again. But uh, it's very, very nice to analyze all of that and see what's happening in a computer. So here I last complete reception so I just uh, will restart the software so it's probably gonna fix everything but uh, you know these are observations that are pretty cool to see and um, having a waterfall is one of the cool things that uh, happens with uh, such a piece of software so for example here I don't know what I just did but I seem to have a, a problem now with the RTL so I'll be checking maybe the USB is uh, something so um, 
that's some of my observations on the noise level received from the uh, computer and you know my surroundings because my antenna on the back does receive a lot of noise and that is a lot of what I see on the display also and much more than my computer's noise actually but uh, I will of course also do some you know fiddling around with uh, USB cables. I've ordered a few USB cables that I will actually try all sorts of tricks that I've seen on a website including one that says that the shielding around the USB cable is actually making more noise than protecting you from the noise so all of that I'm going to be testing a little bit like a shortwave SDR midbuster video so I uh, hope uh, to make that as soon as possible